In this video of Transact SQL, we will cover the stored functions. As in the previous video, we have already seen how can we convert a simple Transact SQL block as a stored procedure, where we can pass the parameters of input and output type, where we can do the exception handling and we can do anything which we have covered so far in the Transact SQL. Now we are going to cover the stored functions. When I say function, that means obviously it will also be doing some logical task and at the end it must be returning us a value. Alright, that is the major difference between a procedure and a function. As procedure doesn't return a value, we can pass a value by using out parameter but we can't use a return keyword for passing the value. And here we can actually use the return keyword whenever I want to pass a particular value and while defining the functions also we must mention the return type means the type of value I am going to return from this particular function. So this is what we can do with a function. Now since it returns a value the question comes how can we use it and where can we use it as procedure was directly got invoked alright using the execute or exec keyword but here for invoking this particular function we can go for the select where or having as in earlier SQL as well we have seen so many functions getting called at the time we were using the select or where clause or having clause. So for the user defined functions also we can call them in a very same way and the exceptions here cannot be handled because if we will start handling the exception and there is an exception occurs. So it will simply terminate the code and the control will come out of it and it will come in the catch block and we will not be able to return any value and as I said it must return a value. So we will not go for the exception handling while working with the stored functions. So now let's see practically how can we start creating the functions. Now in this implementation of functions what I have done is first of all I have given a name tax amount like what I am doing here is I will be calculating the 10% of any particular amount and I am considering that maybe that 10% is being deducted or being calculated due to some tax. So in this tax amount function I am accepting a parameter of name amount of numeric type 10,2 is the length of this and it will be returning the numeric value. For specifying the return type I will use this returns keyword and after that as an in begin and end I will do the definition thing. Here inside this def definition I am just multiplying this amount with 0.1 that is the 10% of it and I will be returning. So make sure when you are specifying the return type you will use returns keyword and by the time you are returning something it will be return keyword. So let's execute this and here you can see like the command completed successfully. Now if I want to execute this as I said earlier I can use this function in select where or having clause. So here what I'm doing is I've used this particular function in select statement where I'm querying from the table employees and employee ID first name, salary and tax amount as tax. So now let's execute this select statement and here you can see like if 60,000 is the salary, 6,000 is the tax, 10%, the very straightforward formula is there, the 10% is being calculated as the taxable amount. So similarly in a very same way you can just change the logic of your function along with the name and the number of parameters but make sure you are not defining any output parameter by the time you are working with functions as here we will be returning the value using this return keyword and the return type is specified here.